Good evening. Welcome to Bill Gordon Field and today's contest between your Rancocas Valley Red Devils and the Northern Burlington Greyhounds. Let's begin with the starting lineup for Northern Burlington. Number seven, Bella Valick. Number 14, Katie Wood. Number one, Karina Harrison. Number 30, Alexis Kaz. Number 18, Jill Watson. Number nine, Ella Dittmer. Number six, Macy Marigold. Number 57, Katherine Sertakowski. Number five, Emma Hoppy. Number 16, Liz Mendocino. Number 36, Olivia Boyle. And number 67, Kendalyn Hendrick. Your head coach, Casey Haversick. And now, the starting lineup for your Rancocas Valley Red Devils. Starting on defense, a senior, number 25, Rebecca Yamalo. A senior, number 38, Hannah Bratz. A junior, number 11, Taylor DeMarco. A sophomore, number one, Carly Seal. Starting in midfield, a senior, number 32, Elena Corson. A junior, number 15, Devin Creelman. A junior, number 23, Olivia Sweeney. Starting on attack. A senior, number 31, Olivia Taylor. A senior, number 36, Lacey Parker. A senior, number 37, Ella Rominski. A senior, number 42, Maddie Kovacs. And in the goal for the Red Devils, a junior, number 50, Kylie Miller. And your head coach, Sarah Shelley. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another edition of RVTV's Game of the Week, where tonight we bring you girls lacrosse as they take on Northern Burlington. Jason Sapp here to bring you the action, which should be a fun one as always here from Coach Bill Gordon Field, as the Red Devils are seeking their first win of the 2022 season. RV, as we said, coming in with a record of 0-2 tonight. They're coached by Sarah Shelley, and they're coming off of a tough loss against Ridge in their home opener 9-6. Northern Burlington is 1-1 one one on the year. They're coached by Casey Haverstick, and they're coming off of an 18-0 thrashing of Penn Saucon. These teams getting ready to take the field. We will give you the starting lineups. First for the Greyhounds, we have number one, Karina Harrison. Number five, Emma Hoppy. Number six, Macy McGarrigal. Number seven, Bella Villick. Number nine, M Ella Dittmer. Uh, number 14, Katie Wood. Number 16, Liz Mendocino. Number 18, Jill Watson. Number 30, Alexis Kaz. Number 36, Olivia Boyle. Number 57, Catherine Sertikowski. And in goal, number 67, Kendallin Hendrick. For the Red Devils, we have number 1, Carly Seal. Number 7, Maddie Kovacs. Number 11, Taylor DeMarco. Number 15, Devin Creelman. Number 23, Liv Sweeney. Number 25, Rebecca Yamola. Number 31, Hannah Bratz. Number 32, Elena Corson. Number 34, Olivia Taylor. Number 36, Lacey Parker. Number 37, Ella Ruminski. And in goal for the Devils, number 50, Kylie Miller. Well, this is our first girls across game of the season. We'll give you plenty of stats and information as we're going to look back on what was a great 2021 season. A very different team here a season ago. Every season, every team is different. As the Devils are still trying to kind of find their footing here in 2022. Played some really tough competition to start out with your opener at Rumson Fairhaven, ranked in the top 10. And again, that loss against Ridge, also a very good North Jersey program. <coughs> All right, getting ready for the opening draw here. Here's Elena Corson. And she looks to win this one for her team. Get things started here on a good note. Draws up. We are underway, and RV will win this one as Liv Sweeney will take it first. Devils moving their offense. 
Moving things around, Lacey Parker back to Devin Creelman as Devin looks to cut inside and draws a shooting space right away. So 20 seconds into this one, Devin's going to have a free position. Devin goes real, a little too high and turns it right back over. Got to be honest, there was a bit of a, either Devin had a great start or there was a bit of a delay there. I'm not really sure what happened. Northern has possession back right now. Good defense there by Rebecca Amola, but Northern will keep possession right about midfield. This is number seven, Bella Villick. And she will pass this one looking for Harrison. As Karina Harrison looks to make her way into RV territory. Good defense right away there by Corson and Maddie Kovacs. And a lot of new faces in the RV lineup this year. As this is Catherine Sertikowski bringing it upfield. Devils have to try to find a way to replace Emily Clothier, McKelsey Montgomery, Sydney Sventi, who were such a huge offensive output for this team for so many years. And a little bit later in this broadcast, we're going to look and see where everyone's playing at college right now and how they're doing. We're going to save that for the second half, however. Like I said, plenty of stats and info to give you as we go along. But right now it's Northern, who's on their first offensive possession. That's going to be the Greyhounds moving things around. Passing this one to Ella Dittmer, who's the team's leading scorer so far this season with four goals coming into this one. Dittmer looking to cut around, nothing there. Pass goes, may have been tipped a little bit there by Liv Sweeney. RV will take possession back. So the Devils missed a free position on their first offensive try. So now here comes opportunity number two for the Devils. Here's Liv Sweeney who's going to bring this one up. Liv looking to pass this one off. She's going to go to inside. Ruminski, shot, score! Ella Ruminski. And that is going to be her first goal of the season. Goal scored by number 37, Ella Ruminski. Well, Rominski will open up the scoring here, 22-43 to go in the first. Three goals coming into this one today for Liv Sweeney, Elena Corson, and Lacey Parker. Lacey actually had a hat trick in the matchup against Ridge. And that is Ella Rominski's first goal of the season. So one nothing RV. As we've played about three and a half minutes here in the first half. Got to admit, it's a little strange for me to see halves. The college game has switched over to quarters. I wasn't sure if the high school game was going to or not, but it looks like we're still doing halves. I mean, guys, you get used to one, and then you get used to another, and I've seen a lot of college games this season, so, you know, it's just one of those things. All right, RV offense back on. And moving things around. Here's Rominski, who had the last goal. Moves it to Olivia Taylor. Olivia will drop it back to Elena Corson. Elena, who's committed to Rowan University after this season. Joining her sister, Juliana, looking inside. Shot, score! Lacey Parker. Goal score by number 36, Lacey Parker. Lacey Parker gets her fourth of the season. Good passing in front of the net here so far by the Devils. 2-0 lead, 22.05 to go in the first. Good start by the Red Devils. In this matchup with the Greyhounds, a series that has truly been dominated by RV over the years. I had to really look in the archives to see when the last time Northern beat RV, and i got to be honest with you, I couldn't find anything. I can definitely say over the past decade that the Red Devils have not lost to the Greyhounds. So if they did, it was a long, long time ago. Draws up, and Liv Sweeney looks to win another one, battling for it here, and she takes it. Sertikowski giving her some pressure there. Liv's still trying to come away with it, and she does, so she gets this one now to Elena Corson, and now the Devils will begin passing. Ruminski, great feed inside, shot! Oh, just wide there for Devin Creelman. That was a great look by Ella Ruminski. Goes back to Elena Corson. Elena's going to cut inside, charge a shot, score! Elena Corson. 
And the Devils are striking early and often here in this one. 21-34 to go, 3-0 RV. Goal score by number 32, Elena Corson. Parker shortly after that, and there's Elena Corson, her first goal of the night. She has her fourth of the season. As we said, this has been a tough one to start for the Red Devils this season. They had another matchup with Rumson. They've opened with that team a couple of years now. Rumson, who's ranked in the top 10. And we saw Rumson here last season open up, this, open up the 21 year. And that was one of the few games in which I had to admit that RV was pretty much, I don't want to say dominated, but they kind of were for the most part in that game. Late, I will say, in the second half. And then Ridge was kind of one of those toss-up games. It was a team that RV beat last year, but a team that's usually pretty good coming out of North Jersey. But as we said, this rivalry with the Greyhounds, which has been going on, of course, for a very long time, but has been very, very one-sided. So now here's Northern trying to get back on the, we'll get on the board for the first time, I should say, as RV now has built a 3-0 lead. Bella Villick will start passing, making Northern's offense look for an opening here. Nothing yet for Northern. Looking now inside, passing this one off is McGarrigal. Looks to Dittmer and then back to Harrison. Looking to cut back inside, we have a whistle. This one's going to go against the Red Devils, so Northern will keep possession. Dittmer passes this one off. Looking back inside for Dittmer, kind of a tough pass there in traffic. And we have another whistle once again as Liv Sweeney will come away with the Devils take possession, but Liv will have to start back right about the 25, we'll call it. We've played about five minutes of this one so far, and again, the Devils are up 3-0. Here's Hannah Bratz, one of the eight seniors on this team. And now RV making their way upfield once again. Sweeney, let's see if she takes it herself. Instead, she's going to pass this one off. Taylor to Rominski. Devils now begin to move. Looking for the cutter inside. I was thinking maybe Lacey Parker again on that one. Devils will drop back instead. Elena puts on a nice move. Elena going inside. I was going to say, that's got to be shooting space. Three defenders right there. And that will put Elena. And here comes Elena. Shot and the score. Elena Corson does it again. She gets her second on the free position. Goal scored by number 32, Elena Corson. And with that, we have a timeout here by Northern Burlington. So while we have a timeout on the field, let's take a look, again, how this uh, current season has gone. Again, the Red Devils 0-2 on the year. They have not played a BCSL game yet. There are two losses, again, to Rumson and Ridge. Northern Burlington, meanwhile, 1-1 one one on the season, 1-0 in the BCSL. Their win was over uh, Pensauken and their loss to Seneca in their opening game of the season. Let's take a look back also at last year, as we mentioned. Again, the Red Devils 13-7 a year ago, a perfect 8-0 in the BCSL. That win, uh, their wins included Holy Cross, Ocean City, Ridge, Washington Township, West Windsor South, and Lenape. Uh, th those last three there were all playoff games. That was a great one here at Lenape. First time they beat Lenape in a long time. And losses this season to some of the best in the state, including Rumson Fairhaven, Shawnee, Haddonfield, Hunterdon Central, Clearview, Moorestown, and that tough loss at Cherokee in the sectional final. Northern Burlington, a good year for them as well. Nine and eight on overall, six and four in the BCSL. Wins over Holy Cross, Stewart Day, Maple Shade, New Egypt, Del Ran, and West Windsor North. And losses to the likes of Del Ran, Haddon Township, RV. A pair of losses to Cinnaminson, Cherry Hill West, and Moorestown, which was a loss in the opening round of the state tournament for the Greyhounds. So as we said, the Red Devils are looking to try to find replacements for some 
some of the program's best players that they've had in recent years. So far off to a good start here tonight. 4-0 RV, 1903 to go here in the first. <coughs> Excuse me. As we're getting ready to come out of the timeout again, your scoring recap. Ella Rominski gets her first of the season. Lacey Parker gets her fourth. And then Elena Corson scores two straight as she now has goals four and five of the season. Elena will now go back to the draw, and she'll be joined by Karina Harrison of Northern. Northern looking to try to get on the board here before they get into too deep of a hole. But again, it's Liv Sweeney who's winning every draw right now. Liv, who's missed a lot of action the past couple of years, finally back on the field. Good to see number 23 back out here for the Red Devils. Olivia Taylor will take it. Looks back inside for Liv. Sweeney looking inside. Shot and a nice save there. And kind of battling for this one right in front. Northern will come away with a great save there by Kendall and Hendrick. And she had Liv Sweeney right in her face, but comes up and makes a big save. Here's Karina Harrison making her way upfield. Pressure there by Ruminski. <coughs> Excuse me. And additional pressure there by Rebecca Yamola and a host of Devils. See Lacey Parker in there as well. Northern trying to make their way inside. Good ball movement here. As that was number 18, Jill Watson. But then turned over right there. So now here the Devils taking offense back one more time. Carly Seal making her way upfield. So good start so far for the Red Devils, offensively and defensively. Kylie Miller hasn't really been tested yet so far in this one. Now here's RV's offense with Devin Creelman starting things out. Devils again passing around, looking to get their offense set. Looking to see who's going to wrap around for the cut. Here's Lacey Parker. It's a good look there by Lacey. Instead goes to Sweeney, a little too high for Liv. Maddie Kovacs trying to come down with that one. And Maddie's going to keep possession here for the Red Devils. Maddie's going to come in fast. Shot. Score! Maddie Kovacs. That is her first of the season. Goal score by number 42, Maddie Kovacs. Nice goal there by Maddie Kovacs, just took it herself. Sometimes that's the best thing to do, catches the defense completely off guard, and you got a one-on-one -on -one there with an open look on the net. Sometimes you just got to take it yourself. So nice play there, Maddie Kovacs, as she makes this a 5 nothing game now, 16.39 to go in the first half. Draws up, and once again, there's Liv Sweeney. They're going for her each and every time, and Liv's won, I think, just about every draw here tonight. Liv going in strong. Liv, shot, score! She takes it herself. Liv Sweeney. Goal number four. Goal score by number 23, Liv Sweeney. And just as I was saying, sometimes you got to take it yourself. That's exactly what Liv did. She had an opening. Go ahead and go to goal. Make it a 6 nothing game now for the Red Devils. As RV is certainly hungry for its first win this season, and right now they are on good pace to make that happen. Draws up. Let's see if Elena's going to try to get it to live one more time. It's going to go the opposite direction. Actually, that might be the first draw that Northern's won here tonight by Harrison. It's now Northern and... Deep trouble right now with a 6-0 deficit. 
They have not had many opportunities on goal, so Northern's got to make this one count. So here are the Greyhounds moving things now behind Alexis Cos, number 30. Greyhounds coming around the other side. Looks to Ella Dittmer. Back to McGarrigal. McGarrigal looking inside. Looks inside for the cut, but there was a lot of traffic there. A lot of defenders for the Red Devils. Devin Creelman's going to come away with it. So now Devin's flying downfield with Harrison giving pursuit. She gets this one to Maddie Kovacs. And now the Devils will take over once again. Another turnover. Now here's Elena Corson. Elena's going to try to wrap around, it looks like, see if she might try to juke out her defender one more time there. Now it's going to be Liv coming around the other side. Sweeney, and another nice save there. Actually, that one's going to go off the net and in. So I think they'll count that for Liv Sweeney, I believe. Let's see if we get the official word here. That was... Goal scored by Liv Sweeney. And we'll go to Liv. She, she had the shot initially saved, and I think it kind of just rolled out of the net there. So tough break for Northern, but it gives Liv her second goal of the night. 7-0 RV. The Devils have come to play here this evening. 15.09 to go in the first half. As we said, th this has been a very one-sided rivalry here. The Devils have just completely dominated this Greyhounds team for many, many years. I was looking at some of the scores of the last five games. It's been way out of hand, to say the least, as far as scoring totals. The last time it was a close game with these teams, I think looking back, it was about 2011, or so right around there, 2012 maybe, 10 even. It's been a long time. Shooting space called here against the Devils. That's going to put Karina Harrison at the 8-meter. First true opportunity here on goal for Northern. Harrison charging in, fires a shot, and scores. So the scoring drought for the Greyhounds will come to an end. Karina Harrison gets the goal. 14.33 to go, 7-1. Red Devils lead. Goal scored by number one, Karina Harrison. So finally the Greyhounds have something on the board here. Karina Harrison on the free position. Seven unanswered goals there until that one as RV just continues to really flex its muscles here tonight. Corson and Harrison will now go for the draw once more. Draws up, looking for Sweeney once more, and Liv wins another one. Devils passing things around. Maddie looking inside. Good feed there, but just a little too high for Lacey Parker. That was a great feed by Maddie Kovacs. Just not able to convert. Now try it again. Shot. Oh, <laughs> Lacey not able to hold on this time. I was going to say, you know what? Try it a third time. Why not? This one's going to go ahead in the other direction. And Olivia Taylor will bring it back for the Red Devils. Elena now looks to maybe take it herself. Elena trying to get around two defenders. Elena looks inside. Shot just a little high there for Liv Sweeney. So here's Maddie. Let's see if she can try to find Lacey one more time. Lacey looking for Devin. Not able to convert on that one. Devils are having some good looks there. Good cuts and passes. Just not able to get these goals. And good pressure there by Taylor DeMarco. As this pass is going to go a little high. And I think this call is going to go against the Red Devils. Yeah, it's going to go against Maddie Kovacs. They're going to drop this one back. Here's Bella Villick. We'll get things going now. She passes to Alexis Kaz.
Greyhounds trying to make it two in a row now. Here's Harrison. Let's see, you got a cutter coming in here for Northern. Had a look there for a moment. Villick looks to go inside. She's going to draw shooting space. Bella Villick coming from the hash here, looking to try to make it two straight goals for Northern. Villick charging in. Shot, score, Bella Villick. Or correction, excuse me, that did not go in. My apologies. I, I thought it went from my angle. I thought it went in, but you know, that was not the case. Kind of got fooled over that on the weekend, too. I saw a play where something where the net moved like that. And it looked like a goal, but it was not. All right, so RV will take possession back. Nice feed inside, looking for Lacey. Shot, score! Lacey Parker gets another one. Second of the night for Lacey Parker. Goal scored by number 36, Lacey Parker. So what could have been a five-goal deficit is now a seven-goal deficit for the Greyhounds as they trail this one 8-1 to one with 11.36 to go. Well, the last time these teams met, it was April 27th of 2021. RV was a 18-4 winner that day at Northern. McKelsey Montgomery had a huge game that day, scoring eight goals. Sydney Sventi had a hat trick. Carly Van Mater had two goals for Northern. Lauren Lika had one. As the Devils once again had a dominating performance against the Greyhounds. Again, 11.36 to go now as this draw will be won by the Devils. So here's RV with a chance to add to its lead now. You're looking for the quick transition here, but instead the Devils are going to spread this one. Looking inside, great feed again. Shot, score, Elena Corson. Great look there by Ella Ruminski, and it's Elena who gets her third of the game. Goal scored by number 32, Elena Corson. The Devils are starting to run away with this one now, 9-1. 11-14 to go here in the first half. RV once again just putting on a great performance here to start things out. Elena Corson getting her third of the night. Lacey Parker and Liv Sweeney each have two. Ella Ruminski and Maddie Kovacs with one each. And here's Liv winning another one. And this just reminds me of that game that Emily Orndak played a couple of years ago. I think it was against Cinnaminson. I forget there. She won some, like a crazy number of draws that game. It was like 11 or 12 draws. Just one of those games where you just – wouldn't be denied. And right now, that's exactly what's going on with Liv Sweeney. She just keeps winning draw after draw. So here's Maddie looking for the cutter inside. Nothing there. Looks inside. Sweeney deny there. As Olivia Ruminski has checked in, number 16. So both Ella and Olivia Ruminski now on the field. Here's Devin Creelman. Looks to pass this one off to Maddie Kovacs. Maddie looking to set up the feed. Nothing there. Ella Ruminski directing some traffic. As here's Liv trying to cut inside. Nothing there. Good defense there by McGarrigal. Here's Corson looking to move inside. Elena's got two defenders right there. Pushing Elena all the way back. She's going to get this one finally back to Liv Sweeney. Liv looking inside. Liv with the cut. Looks for Parker. Catch on the rebound. Shot and score. Lacey Parker has a hat trick. Goal scored by number 36, Lacey Parker. A nice game here tonight by Lacey Parker. We're just seeing some great passes here. Some great looks and feeds. Uh, Ella Ruminski, Maddie Kovacs are just kind of sitting back and Letting these plays develop, really great job here by everybody here on the RV offense tonight. 10-1, Red Devils, 9.53 to go in the first. There's some great, great passing here we're seeing. 
and very patiently letting these plays develop. And right now, Elena Corson and Lacey Parker are kind of reaping the benefits here. They have three goals each. Lacey now, and actually Lacey and Elena now both have six on the season. And guess who wins that draw? It's going to be Liv Sweeney once more. <coughs> now here's Maddie Kovacs, maybe looking to set up another one. I'd love to see the assist numbers for both Ella and Maddie here tonight. Devin will pass this one off. Devils again patiently looking to set up. Here's Carly Seal cutting inside. Devils shifting some of their personnel around. Here's Rominski. Her shot gets tipped right at the end. She had a good look. But good defense there by the Greyhounds. And looking this one. Passing this around. Now here's Ruminski looking inside. Great feed, but not able to connect there with Corson. Devin now trying to scoop this one up. And finally, it's going to be Rebecca Amola who comes away with it. Contact there from Bella Villick, and Re uh, Rebecca Amola is going to keep possession. Have a whistle here with 8.32 to go. <coughs> Excuse me. RV now will take things back. As the Devils will start moving things around once again. RV offense looking very sharp tonight. And just as I say that, Northern's going to come away with this one. Catherine Sertikowski, as she passes to Harrison. Harrison now gets things going. She looks towards Ella Dittmer. And now here come the Greyhounds trying to get across midfield here. Jill Watson. As that goes off the stick there of number 14, Katie Wood, and turns things right back over to the Red Devils. A couple substitutions coming in for RV. I see Ella Rominski and Maddie Kovacs heading to the sideline. I'll see who's come in. It looks like number three, Miranda Moore, is in. Let's see if I can get the other one here in just a moment as Northern's going to take offense back. Yes, number five, Chelsea Davis has also checked in. So now here's Northern with a chance to try to end that scoring drought that they've been on here as three straight goals have come from the Red Devils. <coughs> Villick trying to come away with this one again. It's going to be Liv Sweeney who's had a big game here so far tonight. Sweeney making her way downfield. Liv looks inside. The shot, the score. Once again, it's Elena Corson. Goal score by number 32, Elena Corson. It's there from Liv Sweeney. 11-1, the Devils have built up a 10-goal lead. So now the clock will keep rolling here. And while we have a moment, let's take a look at some varsity sports scores. As the spring season has officially started, softball with a tough loss to open things up at Cedar Creek, 4-3. to three. Boys lacrosse who scored a big upset over Northern in their opener here at home. Lose a tough one at Cherry Hill East, 10-9. to nine. Girls lacrosse, as we mentioned, that loss to Ridge. And baseball with a win over Holy Cross in its opener, 9 nothing. Draws up once again. It's Liv Sweeney who will come down with it. Six minutes and counting here as we now have running clock. Devils have built up an 11 to 1 lead. And quite a performance here tonight from the Red Devils. We've said it a couple of times already, but we've seen some great passing and, and just excellent ball movement by RV tonight. And now Northern in a hole that they might not be able to come out of here, down 11-1. to one. As here's Ella Dittmer, looks to try to get Northern back on the board here. Northern's lone goal coming from Karina Harrison on a free position.
Greyhounds looking to try to get something going here offensively, and that one's going to be intercepted. Great play there. I think that was Lacey Parker. Just stepped right in front of that pass and took it. Lacey now will bring it all the way back. Just under five minutes to go here. Nice play there by Lacey Parker. She's had a great night scoring three goals. And a nice cause turnover right there. Devin Creelman will take this. Again, a very senior heavy team here for the Red Devils. Eight seniors on this team. Many of whom had experience last season. Just getting things started here in the 2022 spring season. We'll get you the Devils schedule after halftime. Devils offense once again back in possession. And certainly content to let this clock just keep moving. Again, no shot clock in the high school game. Certainly made a world of difference in the college game. Here's Elena Corson, who will just, again, I think just try to run as much clock as they can here. Again, it's a very sizable lead. No real urgency to score. Now three and a half to go in the first half. Here's Miranda Moore in possession. Miranda looks inside to Liv Sweeney. The shot deflected once again. Kendall and Hendricks made some big saves so far tonight against Liv Sweeney. Moore's going to come away with it again. Here's Miranda cutting back outside looking for Liv. Elena Corson now in possession. And moving things back to uh, Miranda Moore once again. Now looking to go inside. Miranda puts on a move. She had it there for a moment. Gets it back to Elena Corson. Elena goes inside. She shoots and scores. Elena Corson, five goals on the night. What a performance by Elena. Now on five goals on the night. 12-1 Red Devils. Elena's had a huge game here tonight. Lacey's had a big game. Defense, of course, has played great. I mean, there, there's so many accolades that could go around here. This one is up, and here's Liv Sweeney once again coming away with another draw. Again, I would love to know the draw numbers after this game's over, how many she has. Yeah, and sometimes you just you remember performances from the past and how similar they can be. Here's Miranda Moore looking inside, looking for Elena. She's got goal number six. Elena Corson putting on a show here tonight. She's got her sixth goal of the evening, 13-1 to RV, and the first half is not over yet. My goodness, I, I haven't seen the Devils <laughs> dominate like this in quite a while. This is quite a score we have here. 13 to 1, RV. As the Red Devils have just dominated every aspect of this game. As this clock will just continue to roll here, as this first half will hopefully come to an end. For the Greyhounds, I'm sure this is a half they would love to forget. And it's just, it's, it's just tough to try to come up with how you know ways that the the Greyhounds can try to get back into this. I think 13 to one might be asking a lot here. Northern's just had a really tough time defending this Red Devil offense. They're playing defense for pretty much the entire game here so far. Final 22 seconds in the first half. As RV just continues to control 
every moment of this game. And again, no, no pressure at all to score here. Just run the clock down and head to halftime. And that's what we're going to have, a 13-1 lead for the Rancogas Valley Red Devils over the Northern Burlington Greyhounds. We're going to step aside for just a moment, bring you the second half with some more stats and information in the upcoming the last two goals scored in that quarter were by number 32, Elena Corson. There's one more shout-out for Elena there. Once again, you are watching RVTV's Game of the Week. All right, getting ready to come out of halftime. Rancogas Valley leading the Northern Burlington Greyhounds by a score of 13-1. to 1. Let's take a look at the upcoming schedule for the Red Devils. Monday, April 11th, RV will head to Burlington City for a 345 matchup. Come back home for two straight at home, Wednesday, April 13th at 3.45 against Cinnaminson. First day of spring break, Friday, April 15th, a 10 a.m. matchup against Del Ran. Devils will then be on the road again Thursday, April 21st, 10 a.m. matchup at Maple Shade. And then a new opponent here for the Red Devils, a highly touted program, Mount St. Mary Academy, will take on RV for the first time on Saturday, April 23rd, here at home for an 11 a.m. start. And then two straight road games, two really tough teams for the Devils, as they will see their old rival Morristown on Wednesday, April 27th for a 345 start. And then they'll end the month of April at Ocean City High School at an 11 a.m. start on Saturday, April 30th. <coughs> so, tough stretch ahead coming for the Red Devils. Those matchups against Mount St. Mary, Morristown, and Ocean City. Right now, the Devils are kind of having their way here against the Greyhounds, leading 13-1. to So we get ready to start the second half. See a couple of RV alums here in the stands. I see Trish Miller. He's a great goalkeeper for us. Had an excellent senior season last year. I also see Juliana Corson, a member of the uh, Roan University Profs who's had an excellent career so far down at Rowan. And at the next time out here, or next stoppage, I should say, we will take a look and see where our girls are right now, those who are still playing in college. And we have quite a list. So here we go with 24-27s, just getting started here in the second half. Nice feed inside, looking for Karina Harrison. And Karina will go back to the free position. This is how Northern got its only goal here this evening. See if they can try and make it two. Karina shot too high. Well defended there by the Devils. I think it was Lacey Parker. A couple of other substitutions. We have number 28, Marin Reinhardt has checked in for RV. And also, number five, Chelsea Davis has returned to the field. As this one is off the deflection and still controlled here by Northern. Macy McGarrigal will get this one to Ella Dittmer. Dittmer looking to cut inside, nothing there. Back to McGarrigal. Northern having a tough time really trying to get anything past this RV defense. Great heads up play there. Liv Sweeney once again. She has just been all over the field tonight for the Devils. Here's Miranda Moore looking to make her way inside. Miranda's going to drop back. And looks possibly for a cutter inside. Nothing there. Devils will reset their offense. Passing things around here. Also see number 21, Olivia Colling has checked in. We're seeing a lot of players getting some time here tonight for the Red Devils. Again, starting the second half here with running clock. The Devils have an 11-point lead, or excuse me, a 12-point lead. Carly Seal now has it. 
Lacey Parker looking to move inside. Nothing there for Lacey. Lacey now trying to get around a pair of defenders. She does. Nothing there. Good stop there by Northern. Pass goes off the deflection. Scooped up by Creelman. She'll draw shooting space. So here's Devin Creelman going to take the free position. See if Devin will try to get her first goal of the night. Devin goes in a little too high for Creelman. And RV will keep possession. Or excuse me, Northern will take possession back. Tough pass hauled in there by Villick. Here's Bella Villick coming along the far side, back into RV's side of the field. Good pressure there by Marin Reinhardt. And now Northern will try to get its offense set. Again, try to end this scoring drought that they've had. It's been six straight now for the Red Devils since Northern scored its one and only goal so far this evening. Been a beautiful night here at the fields. Fifty three degrees, just checking in again. It's been right around that this evening. Call it partly cloudy, just a, a cool but beautiful night here. I'm just gonna draw a whistle. See if Northern, or excuse me, the Greyhounds will not go for the free position. We'll actually be dropping this one back. 20 minutes to go in this one as the Devils just continue to hold on to this. We'll call it a very solid lead here, 13 to 1. Great defensive pr play there. Good pressure. Alexis Cos tried to work that one in between two defenders. So now Carly Seal will take it as Carly right along the near side of the field. Carly's going to bring it back out. Devils again just controlling the pace of this game right from the start. Six goal game here tonight for Elena Corson. I, again, I would love to know the draw total number for Liv Sweeney as she looks for Devin Creelman inside, not able to connect. As this one will head back to the Devils. Very curious how this season is going to go, especially in the postseason, as RV will now be part of what's more or less a combined bracket. It's no longer going to be central and south. It will just be a south bracket. Devils had a good run last year, defeated a very good Lenape team here to move to the sectional final and a tough loss to an outstanding Cherokee team, one of the best teams I've ever seen play. Pass inside, Creelman shot save once again there by Hendrick. Kendall and Hendricks made some big saves here this evening. But again, the problem always is, and this kind of goes really for any sport, the longer you're on defense, you know, the more things are just going to wear down and break down for you after a while. So Devin Creelman will be heading to the sideline. And Devin's going to sit for about two minutes here. So RV is now down a player. Now here's Catherine Sertikowski making her way past midfield to Ella Dittmer. And now here are the Greyhounds on the move. 17.47 to go in this one. As Northern trying to find its 
second goal of the night here. Harvey scored the first seven, and then they scored six straight after Northern got its first goal. Tough pass inside looking for Dittmer. Kind of gets away from her there. And good pressure right along the sideline. Northern will keep possession. Good pursuit there by number 31, Hannah Bratz of the Red Devils. Pass inside looking for Harrison, not able to connect again. And contact right there about the 8 meter. Just been a great performance here this evening by the Red Devils. And a quick feed inside, looking for a score, nothing there. Good heads up play there again by Bratz. It's inside. Harrison is denied. And then taken away there, scooped up as Yamola tries or had it initially. And instead, it's going to be Northern who comes away with it. Heads up play there by Alexis Kaz. Now Northern will try it's another chance here. Looking at another crack at it. Looking inside a Dittmer shot. Score! Ella Dittmer. She gets her fifth goal of the season and ends the scoring drought there for the Greyhounds. Now 13-2. to two. Goal scored by number nine, Ella Dittmer. So again, 13 to two as the clock continues to run here with 15 and a half to go. And I said in a little bit, we're going to take a look at how these players have done in college here so far this season. Again, we've got quite a list here. It's a real tribute to the program here that so many have continued to play on at the next level and have had great success. So Northern will take possession back, looking to try to make it two in a row here. Looking inside possibly for Detmer again. Harrison now in possession. Looks to McGarrigal. Back to Villick. Villick looking inside. Good pressure there. Fights through it. And that's going to draw free position here for Bella Villick. Villick goes inside. She shoots and a nice save there by Miller. So the Devils will take possession back. Here's Rebecca Yamola making her way upfield. Rebecca looking for an opening here. And finally we'll get this one off to the RV offense as now they will take possession back. 13.48 and counting here in the second half. We have an offside call here against Northern, so now RV will take this one. As Devin Creelman has returned to the game. Carly Seal will have this one, gets it to Liv Sweeney. Devils will move things around. Back to Miranda Moore. Here's Miranda looking inside. Nothing there for her yet. Facing a double team. Miranda tries to get around her defenders. Has an opening there for a moment. Gets it back to Carly Seal. Carly will move this one. And Sweeney's going to draw shooting space. So let's see if Liv Sweeney will go for goal number three potentially here on the night. Sweeney charging in, fires the shot. Off the deflection, no good. 
Miranda Moore will take possession back. Miranda trying to charge inside, work around the crease. It's inside the shot, just wide there for Olivia Rominski. And Northern will take possession back. Couple of missed chances there for the Red Devils. And now Northern with an opportunity to try to add another goal. It's been a lockdown performance here tonight for the RV defense. They've played very well this evening. The offense has created multiple opportunities as well. Get you that scoring tally in just a moment. Northern's offense goes back to work with 11.48 to go. Greyhounds moving things around once again. McGarrigal looking toward Villick. Greyhounds will spread it around. Now moving things back here is directing traffic number 14, Katie Wood. Harrison, trouble handling that one at first, gets it up. There's Ella Dittmer, looks back to McGarrigal. Macy McGarrigal trying to move in toward net, nothing there for her. Looks back toward Dittmer, great pressure there by Sweeney. Liv Sweeney all over Ella Dittmer here. Harrison looks back inside for McGarrigal. McGarrigal tried to head a, get a one-on-one -on -one there. They closed pretty quickly. Just over 10 minutes left in this one. Jill Watson now has it. Back to Dittmer. McGarrigal to Harrison as the Greyhounds just continue to move this one around. Looking for an opening. Good feed there to McGarrigal. She had a lot of pressure there. Macy McGarrigal will draw the free position. Here's McGarrigal charging inside. Shoots and scores. Macy McGarrigal. Goal score by number six, Macy McGarrigal. It's to go. It's now 13-3 in favor of the Red Devils. So this is always one of my favorite things. Actually, before I do that, let me get in a quick promo here. Just a reminder our viewers that this and other events are available to view on the RVTV Video On Demand website. Visit our school's webpage at rvrhs.com. Click the link on the main page for the RVTV Video On Demand website. Featuring games, shows, concerts, and events from this year and many, many years before. Okay, now one of my favorite parts to do. RV players currently in college. Let's start with the most recent class, class of 21. Emily Clothier at Rutgers has had an unbelievable start. And she's already got four goals, one assist, eight ground balls, and a cause turnover in her freshman year. And Kelsey Montgomery, five goals for the University of Tampa. And she had a really cool opportunity where she played against her older sister, Michaela, this season. Sydney Sventi has seen some game action, no stats yet for her. But I give that some time as she's part of a very good and improving New Hampshire team. I will step away for that in just a second, and I'll get you the rest of that in just a moment here, let's see Northern's offensive series. Quick shout out to my camera operator tonight, Declan McMullen. Declan, thank you for coming out. The Greyhounds will try to move in one more time. They've actually scored the last two goals in this game. 13-3 the score now in favor of the Red Devils as the clock continues to move. Just above eight minutes remaining. Here's Macy McGarrigal who scored the last goal. Gets it to Harrison. Harrison will drop it back. Here's McGarrigal trying to work in toward net. Villick looking inside for Dittmer. Tough pass. Ella Dittmer, well defended. Back inside. The shot and the score. As that was number 30, Alexis Cos, who scores. 
goal scored by number 30, Alexis Kaz. We're going to take a timeout here on the RV side, which is perfect because that gives me a chance to get right back to my graphic that I had up before. All right, let's take a look now at the class of 2020 as Cam Maruka, currently a member of the Marist Red Foxes, has seen some game action, hasn't recorded any official stats yet. Her classmate, Sarah Russell, who's competing at Indiana University of Pennsylvania, she's had an unbelievable start to her season, or her career, I should say. This season, she has three goals, three assists. She's doing all of her damage on the defensive side, though. 27 ground balls, 31 draws on the year. Named a team captain in her sophomore season. So a ping congrats to Sarah, who actually coming into this game tonight, I read, was named Defensive Player of the Week in her conference. And it's not the first time that's happened to, for Sarah. So a big congrats to Sarah Russell. And now let's move over to the class of 2018, Juliana Corson who has had a great season so far, 17 goals, 8 assists, 15 ground balls, and 20 caused turnovers for Rowan, as she has really had a nice career in college. Jana Kryak at the at Messiah University, one, one goal and one ground ball coming to this one this season. She's had a really nice career there. She's been part of a team who came oh so close to making it to the NCAA final last year, a team that actually only – lost once all season, and that was in the NCAA tournament. They had an unbelievable run, and a big congrats to Jana for all the success that she's had at Messiah. And then Mackenzie Montgomery, class of 2017, recently wrapped up her career. She competed at Durham University in England after a nice career at Richmond. And then last but certainly not least... That's not a typo. Michaela Montgomery from the class of 2016 still playing in college, and she is having a great season as well. Two goals on the year, but 21 ground balls, 17 caused turnovers, 19 draws, as she is currently playing for the University of Indianapolis, currently ranked number two in Division II, and a team that's got a great opportunity to possibly win a national title. And we're all rooting for Michaela here. The hopes that that can happen for her and Indianapolis, that would be a really cool accomplishment as she has just had an incredible career. She spent a couple of years at William Smith, basically broke every record that they had there. She's just had one of the all-time great careers as far as RV alums go. So a big congrats and best of luck to Michaela as Indianapolis looks to win a national championship this season. Flying downfield is Liv Sweeney as she... Fires a shot just high with seven and a half to go. As now the Devils will just continue to move things around and look to run some clock off here and wrap this one up, leading by nine. Again, you have to take into account three straight goals here by the Greyhounds. Great feed inside the shot and a nice save there again. Hendricks made some big saves. This is definitely a situation of too little too late here for the Greyhounds, who've really been playing well these last couple of minutes. But when you have a scoring deficit the way you do, it's really hard to come back, especially once you have running clock. But you've got to give Northern credit. They have really competed here in these last couple of minutes, again, scoring three straight goals and certainly showing some promise here. As Maddie Kovacs... Looks to come away with it, and she does. Yeah, it's just been so cool to watch these players compete in college, uh, especially some of our more recent grads, like Emily Clothier, who is playing for a top 15 program. And a great play there by Bella Villick to turn things over. Bella is trying to make her way toward goal. All kinds of defensive pressure there and turns it away, but a nice cause turnover there by Bella Villick. Just Emily seeing action already for Rutgers this early in her career. And she had three goals in her first four games. Quite an accomplishment. So now Northern will take possession back with 5.43 to go here. Trying to add another goal. And what has been, for the most part, a very dominating performance by the Red Devils. But again, give the Greyhounds credit for this late surge in the game. 
as I'm sure this Northern team will certainly continue to compete as the season goes along. Fires in the shot. And that one's going to go in again. Alexis Cause gets her second. And goal score by number 30, Alexis Cause. Here, as this game is going on, again, I think this decision here tonight is just about set, but again, four straight goals here for the Greyhounds. And this is certainly something, as the Red Devils, you don't want to see this late in the game here. You don't ever want to see a stretch like this. And the Red Devils will certainly, again, be seeing some very tough competition as the season goes on. As we mentioned, Morristown to Ocean City coming up at the end of the month. A matchup here at home in May against Shawnee. A matchup against Mount St. Mary Academy. 100 and Central once again on the schedule in May. So the Devils will be seeing plenty of top competition as the season goes on. And you certainly, again, don't want to be in a situation against a team like that where all of a sudden you give up four straight goals. Again, with 4.40 to go here, I think this one is pretty much decided, but certainly the things you got to look for as the season goes on Ways to try to make improvements. There's Elena Corson looking inside on the high pass there, scooped up by Liv Sweeney. Maddie Kovacs looking for someone inside, nothing there yet. That was going to pass this one around. Here's Elena Corson looking inside. Elena's going to draw shooting space. And let's see if Elena will go for her seventh goal of the game. Here's Elena from the free. Instead, she will drop back and pass. And again, Devils just, I think, content here to just run this clock down as much as they can. But again, a late surge here by the Greyhounds. Four straight goals by Northern. Devils will move to one and two after tonight's result. And Northern will have the same record as well at one and two. Pass inside, shot, and a score. And I believe that was Lacey Parker once again. That's Lacey's fourth of the game. Goal score by number 36, Lacey Parker. Corson with six on the night. Lacey Parker with four. Liv Sweeney with two. Ella Ruminski, Maddie Kovacs with a goal apiece. And with 3.07 to go here, back to a nine-point lead for the Red Devils, 14-5. Also, while I have a moment, I'd like to remind our viewers that the game you're watching and other events are available for purchase from the RVTV video library. Again, our school's webpage is www.rvrhs.com. Click on the About Us link. And as always, all proceeds of DVD sales benefit the Jerry Krockenberg Memorial Scholarship. All right, three minutes to go in this one. RV back up by nine after the goal by uh, Lacey Parker. And now Northern looks to try to add one more here. Great performance, very dominating performance in the first half by the Red Devils. Here's Macy McGarrigal trying to move inside. Nice play there by Taylor DeMarco to knock that one out. A good cause turnover there by Taylor. Nice job defensively here tonight. Good passing by the Red Devils. Here's Liv Sweeney flying downfield. She shoots, but there's a whistle right before that. So goal will not count. 2.06 to go here. Now uh, Liv will go to the free position. Liv goes in. She shoots. This one will count. Liv Sweeney adds another one. That's her third. Goal scored by number 23, Liv Sweeney. There's two minutes left in the game. 
So just under two minutes to go, 15 to 5. Devils back up by 10 as the clock will continue to run once more. Once again, a thank you to Declan McMullen for coming out and helping on camera this evening. Much appreciated, Declan. As we've got just about a minute and a half left in this one. Again, the Devils will pick up their first win of the season, move to 1-2. and two. Northern will lose and drop to 1-2. and two. Devils will also pick up their first BCSL win of the season. Of course, things will certainly change next year when RV will move to the Olympic Conference. Big step up in competition, seeing the likes of Cherokee, Shawnee, Lenape, Eastern, schools like that. We'll see more often. Morristown will also be joining. I don't know if they're going to play that Olympic schedule, if they're going to keep that independent schedule that they like to have. But either way, the Devils will be making the move to the Olympic Conference next season. Pass inside. Shot just wide there for Devin Creelman. 45 seconds left in this one. So congrats to coaches Sarah Shelley, Mike Jackson, Avery Sweeney, and the rest of the RV staff. And there's a shot and a score there by Liv Sweeney with 36 seconds left. Liv will add her fourth of the day. Goal score by number 23, Liv Sweeney. Scoring recap, Elena Corson with six, Lacey Parker, Liv Sweeney with four, Ella Ruminski, Maddie Kovacs with one. So as these final few seconds count down, the Devils will take a 16-5 victory tonight over the Northern Burlington Greyhounds. So nice job tonight by the Red Devils. They pick up win number one of the season. And that will wrap things up here from Coach Bill Gordon Field. So once again, your final score, Rancogas Valley 16, Northern Burlington 5. And for everyone here at RVTV, I am Jason Sapp saying thank you for watching RVTV's Game of the Week. We'll see you next time.